For your first time, outline the coronal axis on the tooth in pencil or marker. The axis outline is an upside down triangle shape with the base of the triangle parallel to the incisal edge. To preserve the integrity of the incisal edge and the cingulum, the following measurements should be used. Using a high-speed round burr held perpendicular to the lingual surface, cut just through the enamel in the center of the lingual surface. Hold your long shank number 4 burr parallel to the long axis of the tooth and cut directly through the dentin towards the largest area of the pulp chamber. Continue drilling apically through the dentin. You will feel a slight drop as the burr breaks through the roof and drops into the pulp chamber. When the pulp chamber has been penetrated, probing with the explorer will often produce a catch along the ledges or overhangs created by the lingual walls or roof of the pulp chamber. With a pulling motion from inside out, extend your access. First extend access cervically to clear the lingual shoulder. Then angle the burr and use the same pulling motion from inside out to extend the access incisally, mesially, and distally to remove and clean out the pulp horns. Working from inside the chamber to outside in a sweeping motion will allow removal of undercuts or lingual and labial walls of the pulp chamber. The ideal access consists of smooth walls without ledges. The final outline of the access will be an upside down triangle with the base parallel to the incisal edge. The triangle should be centered mesiodistally. You fill the syringe first. For irrigation, the best way to do it is to have a 45 degrees angle to have a better access for irrigation. Using an up and down motion, gently flush fillings and debris from the chamber. The needle should fit in the canal very loosely and the solution should be introduced slowly so that it can run back out of the access opening and is not forced through the apex. The resulting cavity should be smooth and continuous, flowing from cavity margin to canal orifice. This is referred to as straight line access. The pulp horns are clean, and there is no ledges here, pulp chamber clear, and then straight access to the canal. Verify that you have achieved straight line access by checking with an endo explorer or by rotating a file within the canal. The file should have direct and unimpeded access to the canal and you should not encounter resistance within the pulp chamber due to any ledges or ridges. Poor straight line access resulting in ledges can cause file separation in the canal during instrumentation, as well as incomplete removal of pulp tissue in the pulp horns of the chamber. Having straight line access will save you time later on as it will allow for better ease in instrumentation and obturation of the canal.